Every year, we throw away a ton of trash. Actually, more like 2 billion tons annually. The majority ends up in landfills or open dump sites. There, it slowly decomposes, in some cases taking centuries to break down. And while it sits, it spits out methane and other gases, on par with about what the world's coal mining industry generates each year. But at least with coal, we get energy out of the pollution it creates. With trash, not so much. Although that could be changing. Because I'm recycling the trash into heat for the bar and lots of smoke for the bar, and giving the bar the good smoky smell that we all like. A small island off the coast of southern England is home to a new waste to energy plant. So far, in testing, it's shown the ability to produce enough energy to power 7,000 homes for a week. By burning trash like paper, plastic, and wood, the plant's developers believe they're creating a greener method of waste disposal. How is burning trash green? For those who think this is a dumpster fire of an idea, let's break it down. The heat produced from burning trash is then used to warm up water until it becomes steam. That steam is then used to turn turbine blades, generating power. The process would also help reduce the amount of physical space trash takes up. Converting a ton of garbage into energy reduces it to as little as just 300 pounds of ash. But the waste to energy process isn't just generating power, it's producing some controversy as well. No, we don't burn trash in this country. Incinerating trash releases toxic chemicals and pollutants, which is why multiple environmental groups have accused this energy production method of greenwashing. In fact, studies have shown that pollution from burning waste can make its way into the air, water, and food supply of local communities. You can probably guess the negative health implications. Safely releasing the toxins into our air and drinking water. Other research has found that, well, sure, the waste to energy process is responsible for some harmful emissions. It's still cleaner than getting power from coal or oil. Climate experts argue investing in any infrastructure that produces pollution is like putting a band-aid on a bullet wound and can be counterproductive for the green energy transition. That's the exact opposite of green, Charlie. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I could put the trash into a landfill where it's going to stay for millions of years. While testing continues in England to ensure the waste to energy facility there meets operational standards, this technology is still generating traction elsewhere. Developers in Denmark are creating a system with emissions that are almost entirely water vapor and carbon dioxide. Waste to energy improvements like these could help this industry grow.